Hey folks, one of my reels, I was talking about this book called The Daily Marriage Challenge. This is 60 short challenges for busy couples written by Trey and Lee Morgan. Um, I, I highly recommended this book. I know these people personally, they've been married for 30 years. They do a lot of marriage seminars. Um, and so they understand marriage and they understand relationships and the depths of it and the importance of of different things that you need to cater to within that relationship. And um, I wanted to just read one of them to you and I guess just share my thoughts on it. And in the comments below, you can, if you picked up the book from seeing my reel or from watching this video, definitely write down in the comments some of the things that you got out of it, how it's helping your marriage. Um, different things that it brought up for me. Me, I'm not married. I am in a, a relationship and we've been dating for going on about six, seven months. And we recently picked up the book about, um, I think she gonna kill me if I get it wrong. Uh, so if y'all don't see me, you know, I'm dead. But uh, I think about a month and a half, two months ago, and it's been really challenging. It's brought up, uh, no, we, it wasn't a month ago because we're not even halfway through. It had to be, yes, I ordered it about a month ago. It don't matter. We had the book. But it's really it's been really challenging. It, it brings up, um, at least for us, a lot of stuff. It brings up a lot of stuff. What, what this book also has done for us is it has unturned stones. You know, sometimes we, in relationships, sweep things under the rug. We don't like dealing with them because they're uncomfortable. We don't like to argue or disagree. And not that these authors are all about arguing. I don't, I don't think that that's the point of this book. But within this book, it, it's done that within my relationship with my significant other. And it really helped us to grow. We we discussed these concepts and it's triggering. It's triggering because two worlds are colliding and people forget that within relationships. That's literally what it is. It's two different people from two different backgrounds trying to make it work, trying to bring two worlds together, trying to fuse two families, trying to fuse two ways of thinking that might and more than likely contradict and when, when that does happen, it, it takes compromise, it takes love, it takes patience, it takes forgiveness. And this book definitely challenges your relationship in all those areas. It really, and it really will help you to see how deep your love is. How deep is your love? Yeah, I can't sing, don't hate on me. See you at karaoke. But yeah, I really, I really like it. And if you... What's crazy is a lot of people, they'll think, oh, my relationship's good. We don't have any issues. But they don't really talk about issues. They sweep them under the rug. And what's going to happen is later on down the road, it's going to blow up. And um, one thing about me and my significant other, we going to argue. We argue. We disagree. But we try to come to a conclusion and, and a consensus and an understanding. And... Sometimes we agree to disagree, but we try to deal with the issue at hand when it happens. And this book has also taught us not to bring up the past, but to deal with the problem at hand. And so I want to read one of them to you. Enough of my rambling and rambling for four minutes. Day one. Be the reason your spouse spouse's day gets better when they get home not worse. Today's challenge, never let a bad day at work rush your traffic, rush our traffic, or a terrible game of golf <laughs> or anything else affect the way you talk to or treat your spouse and family. Don't be unkind or speak harshly to those who are most likely just innocent bystanders. Be intentional every day at looking for ways to bless your spouse. Today's word. Do not repay evil with evil 
or insult with insult. On the contrary, pay evil with blessing, because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. 1 Peter 3, 9. Today's prayer, Lord, help me to look for ways to bless my spouse, knowing full well that bless, blessing them in turn blesses my marriage. Amen. And I wanted to break down some of these things. I really like these challenges. And what's cool is it also has uh, daily notes that you can write. This book is um, a challenge that's supposed to be done together with your spouse. Uh, and, it, and it's a really quick read. It's not much to it. You see how simple it is. Like, look, literally, it'll take you maybe two minutes, uh, if you're a slow reader like me, two minutes to read, uh, to talk and discuss, depending on how deep you want to go, five to ten minutes. Uh, but it's some really good stuff. So I want to touch on some stuff, though. Be the reason your spouse's day gets better when they get home, not worse. And that's so important, and I like that they started off this 60-day challenge with that, is when we get home, we, people in general, we like to throw our baggage around. We don't want to carry it. We want to throw it at somebody else. Like, well, I got to carry this baggage. You want some of this? Take this. And we just throw it at them. And it's unfair. It's unfair. And we got to understand just like how we have stuff going on. They might have stuff going on. And when we get home, it should be excitement. It should be joy. Leave work at home. Leave at, leave work at work. When you're home, be at home. Be in the moment. Live in the moment. Enjoy your spouse. When you see your spouse coming home from a stressful day at work, go kiss them. Hug them. Make love to them. You know what I mean? Make the kids uncomfortable. Show them that you love each other. And uh, just doing those small little things go a long way and um what's cool is trey and lee they break down um that that big that quote there and they they break down the challenge they challenge never let a bad day at work rush our traffic they're going on like getting away like you want to be a blessing to your spouse you want to show your spouse that you admire and appreciate them and i really like too that they they get into the word and they talk on they they mention first peter 3 9 and we we like to return the same energy and i don't know where this logic has come from return the same energy but tell me when is this turned out good like yes you get even yes you feel good in the moment but it just piles on more junk and bull crap and it doesn't like you can you can show somebody how to treat you in a loving way. You don't got to throw your baggage at them. You can be stern. You can say, hey, I don't like that. Or, hey, what's going on? Like, let's say your spouse uh, comes at you with a bunch of, of, of luggage. But returning the fire isn't going to help your relationship with that person. Um, be stern. Be empathetic. Be sympathetic. And ask questions. Ask questions. And don't repay evil for evil or insult for insult but uh on the contrary repay evil with blessings because that's how you inherit blessings and that's the way that god has it set up but yeah enough of me rambling the daily marriage challenge day one check it out dive into it let me know what you think of it um trey and lee morgan they're great people they have many other books so if you already read this book you're interested in another one They've been married for 30 years. They know they stuff. Check them out. Go with peace. Spread love. I am is with you.